Hello, hello, hello once again, my YouTube subscribers and my newcomers. I am thankful that you are on my channel and I thank you for subscribing for the newcomers. Uh, again, this is part two of the road rage uh, that I was talking about in my previous video um, in Houston, Texas. This road rage has to stop. And as I was saying, my girlfriend had came up visiting from Lake Tahoe, Nevada, up in the mountains, and she just did not realize that Houston had really changed. However, she was from Houston, but she wanted to move up to Lake Tahoe. And because Lake Tahoe is so beautiful and it's more peaceful up in the mountains. And she came here a couple of weeks ago to Houston to visit, and a lady almost hit her car. And she actually followed that lady to ask her, why did you try to hit me? And I told her, no, 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 don't do that. That woman could have, could have pulled out a gun and shot her. I told her you in Houston, Texas, and the road rage here is bad. This pregnant woman was attacked in a road rage incident with her kids in the car. Oh my God. Well, actually, if I was her, I wouldn't have gotten out of my car. Just like my friend that ran behind that lady to ask her, why did you hit me? She was lucky that lady was nice. And she said, oh, I apologize. I really didn't try to hit me. And she was like, well, you didn't see me. And I told her that was the worst thing to do in Houston, Texas. People are getting shot. In May, uh, on May the 3rd, a toddler, one years old, was shot in road rage. This pregnant lady here was attacked in road rage. People every day. I have a friend that even the cops was road raging him on the road. And then uh, three weeks later, that same cop was parked in front of his house to even rub it in more. I just couldn't believe that. And he couldn't even uh, turn him in because he didn't get his badge number because when he drove up home, it was the same man on the streets. When he was going, I think he said like 40 in a 35 mile zone and the man gave him the finger. He gave the man the finger and he didn't know the man was a cop because the man was in a, a truck, a red truck pickup truck. So three weeks later, he goes out somewhere and he comes home and this police officer that road rage him on the road was at his house, you guys, parked in front of his house, which means what? He ran his license plates and he went to his house. There are a lot of things like that that has been happening and now the cops are getting caught for these type of uh, crimes. But the thing of it is, he didn't get his badge number because like he said, he went on in his house because he could have gotten shot. Road rage, people are taking it from the streets, taking it from the highways, and they're taking it right to your home. So be very careful. Back to the pregnant woman that was attacked here in a road rage incident with her kids in the car, hollering, screaming, crying. And this other person got out of the car and started punching her and beating her and some men had to tried to help her out and pull her away from the lady and, ask, and tell the lady, don't you see this lady is pregnant? Why would you be attack attacking her like that? So what I'm saying, this road rage is really, 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 really bad out here, you guys. So if you see someone that's driving crazy, driving drunk, and what they're doing now, um, even in the clubs or the bars, they are now charging the owners of the bar and also the waitresses in the bar because some of the road rage is because people are intoxicated. So you got to watch out for the crazos and also you have to watch out for those that are intoxicated that had too much to drink. So what I wanted to tell everybody is please just when you see somebody crazy, just go ahead on about your business and just turn away. Because as I said, my sister was visiting me and she was throwing her hands up. I said, baby, no, no, no. I don't want to get shot <laughs> because she lived in Oklahoma, a little quiet town. So people that come here that are visiting, they're not aware. And a lot of innocent people can get killed because this stuff is really, really serious. What would you do if you was in a position of road rage? Would you retaliate with that person? As a friend of mine did, she got lucky because if it would have been the wrong person, she probably would have been shot or beat up like this lady here. Can you imagine someone so cold to beat up a pregnant woman? That is horrible. But that pregnant woman should have stayed in her vehicle and just not got out of her car. 
because when she got out of the car, that made the other person think she wanted to fight. This stuff has to stop, you guys. Houston, Texas is too beautiful of a city for road rage to take our people out, take our kids out. They're shooting the wrong people. They're just shooting in the cars. If you say something, it's not worth it. It is not worth it. Our city is too beautiful, and we want to keep Houston a beautiful place for people to come and visit. When they're driving on the road, try to have respect for them, as we used to have for each other. And just try to get along, even on the freeway. I mean, supposedly you're in a road rage and it's somebody you may be kin to, okay? But you didn't know it. And somebody get in a fight or someone get killed because of a road rage and not knowing who they are killing, who they are shooting, who they are beating up on the road. So be careful with road rage, you guys. I just wanted to do this part two of part one and uh, bring this to your attention that Houston is a beautiful city and this road rage has to stop. So with that, I'm going to end this short video. Leave your comments what you think about road rage in Houston, Texas, and I'll be coming back with more of Celebrity and Variety Talk. I'm your host, Josie Latimer, and thank you for all of my subscribers and my newcomers. Thank you for coming on board, and I will come back to you next time. Please click like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for tuning in to Celebrity and Variety Talk with Josie Latimer. Bye.